This is the little fish in book one. Again, you may pre-make all your dimensional pieces by copying your pattern and putting on top of two pieces of fabric right side together. Most of the pieces have a thin polyester bonded bat also layered in there. The fins did not. But then sew on your solid line, cut on your dash line, remove your paper and turn them right side out. Now the trick on the little head is to cut on the dash line is to cut into the mouth like that. But that right here becomes the opening of which you can turn it right side out. It's a little tight, but you want to do that. You want to, you know, turn it through this opening. Then to finish the little head, you're going to tuck the the mouth up under the upper lip and whip stitch on the back to hold it. Now, um, if you were to tuck it the other way, like that, and work with this little corner so the raw edges are not showing in this corner. Anyway, we'll show you that that will flip the fish the other way if you do it that way. Okay, then to make the body, we've placed the tail on the body between two pieces of fabric, and the dimensions are in your pattern. And the tail flips down, and then the little head, depending on which way you flip it, if you flip the 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 under lip under the upper lip, then the tail will flip. The fish will flip this way. If you do it the other way, then the fish flips with the tail down. Then we would hand gather the edges of the little fins, place them behind the head, different positions. Well, the book will show you where they are placed, and then that's, you know, machine sewn, blind stitch down, or hand blind stitch down. And that's how we do our little fish. Very fast and easy, just a little different with the cheeks. Now, sometimes when I put it down, I'll also add a little batting behind when I, uh, before I blind stitch, and that will also dart that cheek and help it stay uh, dimensional. And I hope this helps you.